Uh, Eileen, uh, job done 5 1 victory, you must be sad, very satisfied with that. Yeah, happy. Three points, five goals. Not happy with the goal conceded. You know, I thought we, we, and we all agree as a team that we could have been much better in the first half, but thought second half performance, the girls really, you know, showed how well they can play. Yeah, and it was absolutely dominant in that second half. I mean, obviously the, the, the three goals as well, but in terms of the possession, you were, were all over them that second period. So, so what specifically changed? What areas were you looking at? Well, I think the decisions around where to play the ball changed, so we were working on playing around. Um, first half, probably we had too much emphasis playing through where the areas were crowded, so we talked about finding the space. And I think the girls, you know, much quicker pace, much quicker speed of play with the ball and found better spaces, I think. You know, Aaron McLaughlin came on, we made a couple of changes and that, that helped to rejuvenate the energy as well and I think, you know, it was a really, overall it was a good performance and a great three points. Yeah, and three out of three now, so you're in a perfect position in terms of the Nations League group as well. Yeah, and that's what we want and, you know, we keep driving the message. This is a really important step towards qualification for Euro 2025, so we don't, we don't want to let the ball slip um, and be complacent around this you know, you wait for Nations League and the importance of it, so we continue to drive that message and this is another step forward and Tuesday is another step forward again then. Uh, Izzy was speaking earlier in the week about wanting to be linking up with Katie down the left flank and they certainly did a lot of that tonight and Katie has just been saying about the freedom provided by playing further up the pitch was great. How did you find her playing further up the pitch? Obviously had great results for you tonight. Yeah, I mean, that's, we, want, we want to give these young players opportunities to express themselves and Izzy is a very creative you know, player, she likes to be direct, she likes to go 1v1 and we want to give them the confidence to do that, so allowing them to play a little bit higher up gives them that, doesn't detract from what they have to do defensively, but puts them into positions that he can be in 1v1s and that he can get nearly ball in and then you've got two lefties like Izzy and Katie linking up, so we'll take that. And you've spoken about the importance of building for the future during this campaign and looking ahead to Euro 25 and getting so many young players in for so many minutes must be brilliant from that perspective. Yeah, I mean, this is the nature of football and the nature of life. We all get old, so you have to plan for that transition. And these young players are coming through and the only way to get them experience is to give them minutes. So I think they're holding their own. You know, it's, they're free. You make a mistake, it's not a big deal. You just go again and that's our motto, we go again and we go again and we go again and I think that's what the girls are doing now for each other so it's really you know, positive for the staff to see and I said it earlier on, the girls always felt like they could have more potential higher up the pitch so it's adding to their game and our job as the staff is to prove them right. I mean, what have you done to Kira Caruso? Four goals in the last three games in the form of her life and it looks like she's having so much fun in that Ireland jersey. Kira. I mean, yeah, you can really see the development of Kira. I mean, obviously she's working super hard at our, at our club and I think she's really maturing into the game, but she gives us a real, you know, strong outlet. She's solid, she makes the run, she holds the ball and she's a really good leader as well. So, yeah, I think Kira's really coming into her own and I guess it's all her, it's not really up to me. <laughs> That's Kira's hard work herself. But you said, you know, holds the ball up well. But the, the, the first the goal she scored the first one where she she took the run from from when Katie broke from deep showed a different side as well to her. Yeah, I mean she's she has a lot to offer in the game. Like she, you know, she'll pick up seconds. She's good in the she's good in the air. Like she's works super hard. So she puts herself into positions, and yeah, she has a, she has a lot to add. With the with the way the results have gone, the first three games, could we see maybe you change things up a little bit against Albania way, or are you, you know? to try and give more players opportunities as well or how are you thinking coming to Tuesday? I'm thinking that we'll use the squad that we have and we'll see what's the best fit for, for Tuesday. We've obviously got a set of players who've played full games tonight and players have played different minutes so we'll just reassess once we look back at this game and then go again for Tuesday. Megan, um, Lucy and Heather Hope weren't named to the 23. Could we see them feature on Tuesday? Good. I mean, it was a positive night overall, but there was that one goal that you conceded. What did oh. you take from it? Because, you know, it's unfortunate, especially after us scoring so early and setting us yeah. on a good this is it and it's, it's you know Albania didn't come here to lose they came here to play and to try to win and if if we don't do our tasks and we allow players to be free in the middle and don't 
you know, block crosses and uh, allow teams to have space. Of course, they're going to they're going to try to score, and that's what they did. And we weren't happy with ourselves in, the, in you know about that moment, and we're still not happy that we conceded a goal. So, you know, we're driving. We want clean sheets. So, yeah, we thought it was sloppy, but it's how do you respond then? So you have to go again. So I think the girls overall did well in that. Was it seen as like a moment where the whole team went to sleep a little bit? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was, you know, three players marking no one, a cross that comes in unopposed, and just, yeah, that's the whole team's responsibility. If you see a free player, make sure we're picking up, so, yes. Yeah. Do you think that's part and parcel of when we're trying to play this more talented side that while we're in that bit of adjustment period, we are going to be going to yeah, I don't think that was anything to do with uh, trying to be attacking. I think that was more, you know, we should have been three for three in the middle. So that's your fundamentals. Don't leave a free player. So whether you're playing in a low block or a high block, do the task that is required at that moment. It didn't happen. The goal went in, but I thought we responded well. Yeah. Ryan, sorry, just quickly, uh, Heather is or Nichols, injury, Nichols, that, that's what he missed out tonight. It was just, it was just all football decisions, and and we have two games in this, all football decisions and, you know, looking after players and we have a, a game on Tuesday as well, so these are all factors that go into these decisions and, you know, we really wanted to be able to transition young players through and that's what we did tonight, we were able to start that week. You know, Izzy would get Aaron on, and we're happy with that. Okay, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.